Hi, this is Lisa Crosby, and I'm here to give you a quick recap on the big announcements that came out of Microsoft Ignite around Dynamics 365 and Teams. If you're a Dynamics 365 user, or if you're looking for a new CRM or customer service system, take note of this stuff. This is game changing couldn't be happier. <laughs> so the first thing we're seeing here is an embedded Teams chat experience inside Dynamics 365. This is something I think everyone I've ever spoken to has wanted. What we've got here is something that's going to come to sales first, I believe about May 21 timeframe. You'll see there on the screenshot that we've got the Teams pane down the side, a Teams chat pane down the side. And this is chat in the context of the record in Dynamics. So we're looking here at an opportunity record. And as a user, I can go in and I can add chat in context of that record. I can actually have multiple chats associated with that. So you'll see here it pops up as a chat that I can interact with. And I've got the functionality here of Teams chat available to me, including adding a document, using emojis and GIFs and all those kinds of cool things as well. So it's not just like basic text chat. Um, you can be at mentioning someone, you can use all those features. This picks up one on one chats and group chats that are associated with the record. You'll see there, there's also some things about suggested chats and contacts as well. So there's some AI coming in to figure out other people that might be relevant to this. Mentioned there before that you can have multiple chats going associated with this. So you might have one there where you've got a bunch of um, people involved in a group discussion, then an individual you need to consult with. And if those are people in your organization who are not using Dynamics 365, they're just interacting with you in Teams chat in the same place they're already working, but you can use that capability now right inside the record. <laughs> Told you I was excited about this. This is a sneak peek of the new um, pipeline manager dashboard that we're getting shortly in Dynamics 365, which allows you to kind of do a click and point around the different um, opportunities that you're working on in context of reading it off a dashboard. And this embedded chat is appearing here as well. Again, the context changing each time you click on something from that dashboard. So you can actually be kind of working through major opportunities and things and clicking and seeing the chat and working the chat alongside those without even having to click through. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos as, as this thing comes out. This is this was one of my um, number one picks from the Wave 1 2021 new release. In fact, it was my number one pick from that new release. So now this is my number one feature from Ignite and my number one feature from, um, from the Wave 1 release combined into one. Back on the team side, you can also work with this as well. So you can at mention effectively like an opportunity inside a Teams conversation. So you can be going in, there's like a little Dynamics 365 icon sitting inside your conversation where you would usually pick up on things like the praise or um, other kind of apps that you can use in your collaboration in Teams. There's a Dynamics 365 spot there and you can start typing the opportunity or search you'll see their leads accounts are in there as well find it and then edit it within teams you can also create a task so if there's useful things that are going on in a, a chat in teams or in a conversation in teams in the little three dots there there's a spot where you can say add a new task or add a note so you can actually capture all of that useful information that's going on in teams that isn't normally natively connected back to dynamics 365 now, the number one question that always comes up when we talk about Dynamics 365 and Teams integration is around security and so on. You do not have access to the Dynamics 365 records that you don't normally have access to. So you still need a license. You still, all of the security and permissions still apply there. So this functionality here of being able to go in and search for an opportunity and mention it, and there's a button in there where you can edit it inside Teams is only available if those are records that you could normally access in Dynamics 365 that you're licensed and so on. But the chat capability that we're looking at means that 
that, you know, I'm a salesperson, I'm in Dynamics 365, working with these things in teams, and I'm working with my Dynamics 365 record there. When I'm over in Dynamics, I'm working with the chat. But my broader organization is working with Teams chat and can keep doing that from their point of view, no change. So we're seeing now system of record, system of engagement, collaboration on the same platform. And where are you coming from in that you're using the tools that you're already using? All right, so the second thing I want to talk about here is an embedded Teams dialer experience, a calling experience. So that ability to make a Teams call from within Dynamics. And on top of that, I'm counting this still as number two because they're kind of two sides to the one thing, an extensible Teams meeting experience tied to Dynamics 365. So what we're looking at here is using Teams calling and Dynamics together, but just from different angles. One is from inside Dynamics to make a call and one is from inside Teams to record what's going on and put it back inside Dynamics. So this is about enabling digital selling. This is actually using a tool called Sales Accelerator, which is part of Dynamics 365 Sales Insights. What this gives you down the left hand side is a, like a, an intelligent work queue of actions to work through. But the part in the middle here is essentially the same as what you would be familiar with in Dynamics. We're looking at a lead here and you'll see there's a button where we can click call. And what that does is brings up this embedded calling experience. So far, so good. <laughs> but here's where it starts to get a bit magical. It's actually taking it's not magic, it's tech, right? But it's taking a transcript of that call and you can see the transcription coming up on the right hand side there. And then at the end of the call, you get this summary and it can do things like pulling out business critical keywords from the conversation, um, pulling out action items. So this intelligence in the system that we see with Sales Insights coming through on that call transcript to be able to do things like, here's a suggestion to follow up on something. This is all about sellers being able to make their calls and then the system is doing all of that kind of analysis and suggestions for them to create those follow up tasks. So far less admin. Um, it can also do sentiment analysis in there as well. So then from a manager's point of view, you can pick up on trends and things that are going on. So really rich. I'm going to own that. It's a little bit magic <laughs> experience of those two things together. And then looking at it back from the team side of things, we can join a Teams call from Dynamics 365. We can have this Dynamics 365 pane going along the side inside Teams. And there's a little toggle switch there where we can switch on the ability to record and analyze. And look at this again with the transcription, does all the same stuff that I was just talking about and puts it back in Dynamics. <laughs> awesome. All right, and the third and final thing that I wanted to take you through here is about being able to connect Dynamics 365 events as a new webinars functionality coming as well with Dynamics. I think I said the wrong thing there. Teams events with Dynamics 365 marketing. So what we're getting inside Teams is the ability to create webinars. So this ability to say, let's go instead of just new meeting or new live event, new webinar. And then you've got this kind of um, analysis at the end of who attended and who dropped out and who did attend. And this little button here that says follow up with participants. Now, if you're using another marketing system, you can still use this, but natively connected to Dynamics 365 and ready to go like this. Check this out. So we click on that and this opens Dynamics 365 marketing with these three segments and journeys ready to go. So we've got one there for contacts who registered, one who attended, uh, people who registered and canceled. And then this is all able to be personalized within the tools of Dynamics 365 marketing. So you can customize your beautiful personalized emails, add them in, add different kind of steps along the way in the nurture journey there, and you're good to go. Uh, there is an announcement here that customers on E3 and E5 are going to get six months of free Dynamics 365 marketing licensing. More details to come on that. But clearly to enable you to really get in and try out those Teams webinars with that completely connected experience of being able to follow up and nurture them using the marketing tool afterwards. So there you go. There's a recap on those announcements. Essentially, Teams chat 
embedded in Dynamics 365. It's coming to sales first, and then the same experience will also be available in customer service and field service, contextual chat with your records in Dynamics, a completely connected Teams dialing experience from Dynamics and back the other way, the ability to record those notes when you're in Teams and have them go straight back into Dynamics, and then a fully connected experience between the new Teams webinars, the Teams events, and being able to nurture and follow up those people in Dynamics 365 marketing and look out for the announcements about the free um, six-month license that comes with that if you want to give that a go. Thanks for watching. I hope that's been helpful. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to get more tips and tricks about Dynamics 365, Power Platform, Microsoft Teams, and all the latest in the new announcements.